What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are jumping into Phoenix Song, Echo issue number 4 and 5. This will be bringing this miniseries to a close. And as we jump into this epic conclusion, we are picking up with the fight of Phoenix and the adversary. The adversary has been tracking her down, killing everyone in her ancestral line. The adversary doing this in an attempt to take the Phoenix Force for himself. And up to this point, Echo has played directly into his hands. Now living in an illusion, she has to find a way to break free. If you have not been keeping up with this series, go ahead, check out the link in my description, as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with Echo since she got the Phoenix Force. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 4, we are picking up with Maya Lopez not having the Phoenix Force. By all appearances, she is living a normal, average life with River. The two of them in a relationship, living together in an apartment. By all appearances, this is a happy, loving life. She has a great boyfriend. She is an amazing artist. She has an art gallery. Life is going amazing for Maya Lopez. And so while she enjoys this fantasy life, picking up in the ancient city, picking up with a phoenix force of the very, very far past, not only being one of the phoenixes of this time, but also being an ancestor of Maya, River is waking up only to find that Maya is nowhere around. With River being told that she is going to face her enemy, he says that this can't be, because the adversary, he has been planning this. He knew that she would be coming. He knew that she would use the Phoenix power, and in using that power, he would be able to drain her of every single bit of it. The only issue is, she knows that River has been working with the adversary. The adversary using his childhood to haunt him, promising him his parents back because he didn't want to be alone. Being terrified of being by himself, he worked with the adversary, worked against Maya Lopez, worked against the Phoenix Force. And so now he wants to fix this, believing that it's not too late and there has to be something that he can do to help her out. Meanwhile, inside this fantasy, Maya Lopez is enjoying her art gallery opening, exhibiting all her pieces of art, individuals from all over her timeline, all, anybody that she might know, the adversary being one of the paintings, she is still yet to recognize that this is all a fabricated reality. With people beginning to recognize that there is a fire outside, we see Maya Lopez, she runs out and she jumps into action, not using Phoenix power, but just trying to help people. With her saving the day, jumping from this building and being rescued by firefighters, she is having dinner with River that night, explaining all of the events that just transpired. Still stuck in this illusion, not seeing that there is something more to her, that she has a higher purpose, that this illusion is nothing more than that. Now on the outside, River is being told that he must die because Echo has taken the adversary to the White Hot Room. This is the center of the Phoenix's power, but it is also a gateway to the afterlife. The best way for a mortal like River to get into the White Hot Room is to die. Handing him a knife and letting him know that this is your option. You either kill yourself, you go help her fight the adversary and right your wrongs, and you fix all of the mistakes that you have done. Taking us to the Great Plains and the home of River. This is where we find Forge, looking around for any kind of clue of where they might gone. He came here looking for Maya Lopez in the Phoenix Force, saying that it doesn't belong to her, she doesn't understand the power she has, and her having it is only a liability. But hearing a thud from the other room, this is where we see River's body. River had died outside of time, and when he died, his body was sent back to its rightful time. Forge beginning to evaluate the situation, seeing that River killed himself, knowing the adversary had been here, trying to decipher exactly 
exactly what happened. This is when he starts to use some of the mystics, some of the magic. He knows how to get to the hot white room. Still having a few tricks up his sleeve about getting to the spirit world, he lights some candles and he prepares to make his journey. And that is what takes us to issue number 5, picking up in the white hot room. This is where we find River, with a dagger in his chest. He has brought himself to the afterlife, to the hot white room, so he can help fight against the adversary. And right now, the adversary is draining her of Phoenix power. With her knocked out in this illusion, there is nothing that Maya can do to stop him. Removing the dagger from his chest, River goes in after the adversary. Adversary. Meanwhile, inside the mind of Maya Lopez, she is currently still daydreaming of an amazing life. So amazing, River has proposed to her, recognizing that she has memory gaps because she doesn't remember the proposal. But nonetheless, he is happy. They are ecstatic, they walk outside, there's paparazzi because she has become a famous artist, so on and so forth. There's just so much amazing going on in her life. Of course, this is all a distraction. And while she is currently distracted with all of this going on, we have Forge making his way into the hot white room. Forge showing up on the scene, seeing Maya lying down on the ground. River is not doing well against the adversary, but Forge brought something that can handle something of his capacity. Taking his rifle and blasting the heck out of him, we see the adversary go flying backwards. River really not sure who this guy is. Forge tells him his name and says that you can thank me later. Right now, we need to save the Phoenix. River doing everything he can to wake Maya up. Forge, he is keeping the adversary at bay while he attempts this trying to get her to remember who she is. He is able to break through to her. Seeing her ancestral line surround her, she remembers. She remembers everything. That inheriting the phoenix, it made her doubt herself. But now she is no longer the person she was before. But she knows that she is more than just a vessel for the phoenix force. And while Forge, the adversary, River, they all came to her for the phoenix. At the end of the day, she is still Maya Lopez. She is still Echo. She is everything that her ancestors' wildest dreams could ever think of. Getting back on her feet, coming back into consciousness. It is River, Forge, and the Phoenix versus the Adversary. The Adversary, he takes the first strike. With them taking a huge blast, all of them are sent flying back, beginning to manipulate their minds, using the loved ones of their past against them. The Phoenix does not allow this. Bursting out with energy, saying no more tricks, no more illusions. That the white hot room, it belongs to the phoenix. She controls this place, and she is the one who has say. With her transporting them to the surface of the moon, with the adversary about to make his attack, we see Phoenix and River, they charge in. River goes to touch him to open up his ancestral line. With that portal being opened up, this is where the Phoenix Force comes into play. Echo grabbing a hold of him, they go through this portal, which takes them to the beginning of time. Now River, he truly doesn't understand what his powers are. He doesn't even understand how any of it really works. Ever since he has been in the presence of Echo, his powers really have been amplifying and he's not sure if this is going to be a permanent thing or if this is going to be temporary. But moreover, they're more worried about what the ancestral line of an immortal entity actually looks like. Here at the beginning of time, this is where the adversary was born. And though it was very powerful right from birth, the Phoenix Force is a much bigger power. And here at the Cauldron of Creation, the Phoenix is the creator and the destroyer, charging in and cutting the adversary right in half. We see him dissipate into nothingness, coming back through the portal, letting the others know that he will never bother them again. She reduced him to his very essence. He will never be able to reform into an individual entity, and the damage he has done to the timeline has now been reversed. That means her ancestral line, it has been restored. Her mother and father they met, and her existence is now back again. With her more than ready to head back home, there is only one problem. River killed himself. 
he drove a dagger directly into his chest. The other phoenix of the past letting him know that if they were successful, then Echo might actually be able to repair him, saying that the phoenix power has the capability of doing such things. As she gives him a butt chewing, she turns to Forge and asks if he did anything stupid like he did to try to get here. Forge saying, no, I just have my ways. She lays down River and she begins to use the Phoenix Force power on him. With his spirit now being returned to his body, they pick up at the Great Plains. Back home at River's house, Forge is saying his goodbyes, no longer trying to take the Phoenix Force from her. And that is because Forge, he is beginning to train her. From now on, once a week, she is going to be going to the island known as Krakoa, and she is going here to train with Forge to learn all of the capabilities and the possibilities that come with this immense amount of power. With Echo and River now sitting down in this demolished house, Echo is telling him everything that had transpired inside this illusion. And in this illusion, they had an amazing, fantastic life. And so while he definitely betrayed her, she is giving him the opportunity to start fresh. Sitting down, having a cup of coffee, that is where this story will end. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I gotta be honest, I wasn't really knowing what to expect jumping into this line. Especially with Echo being brand new to the Phoenix and, and all of this new stuff to her. I really enjoyed the character she was prior to this, but they really have leveled her up. And while many people aren't happy that she has the Phoenix power, I think it's a lot of fun. Because this is a power right from the get-go she never wanted. And it's still a power that she doesn't understand. But it's not like she really has a choice. The Phoenix chooses who its bearer is. And it chose her for some reason. Now that reason, it hasn't been disclosed to us yet. But we have to know that it's going to play some huge part in the future. And now Echo, more accepting of her role, now beginning to train under Forge, Forge accepting that she now has the Phoenix, he is going to make her the strongest he possibly can. He is going to let her know exactly what kind of power she is dealing with. Because while they got lucky against the adversary, the adversary is not going to be the only individual trying to track down and take this power from her. So all in all, I gotta say, the artwork is relatively good. The story, the writing, I think it was a lot of fun. For a five-issue miniseries, it was enjoyable. We got a good, real good story arc. We got a good character growth. I really do enjoy River. And I think he's in the, I think, it, what was it? Marvel's Heritage issue number one. I have to go read that because it has more backstory on who River is and I'm really excited to explore his power. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate using the Super Thanks button, which will let you donate directly to the channel. Every little bit helps, but if you can't do that, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button so you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.